Hey guys, and welcome to the moment that we've all been waiting for for about six months now. Snooker19 is here, and today we're going to be giving you our first look and impressions of the game. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for daily Snooker19 content. A big thank you to Holly and the team at Ripstone for allowing me to play this game a couple of days early. Although I know a few of you guys have, have had the box copies since Saturday, but... Uh, Today we're going to be just having a look at the quick matches uh, and, and just getting a general feel for the gameplay itself. I will be bringing out a full review on Wednesday, uh, the 17th of April, which will be uh, the release day for this game. And uh, in that video we'll look at career mode and stuff like that. So let's get into it. Here we go. Snooker 19. We are off and, off and running and hopefully... Uh, Everything will be good. Oh, we've got a short tutorial here. I think I'm allowed to show this. I'm not, not entirely sure, but uh, I, I, I guess I, I guess I'll ask. And if you're not hearing this, then uh, <laughs> then I'll, I wasn't allowed. But uh, this short tutorial will guide you through some of the basics of how to play the game. So, phase one shot setup. Use the left stick to adjust shot direction so that the black ball is directed towards the highlighted pocket. Then continue to the next phrase. A phase, sorry. Okay, so here we go. Shot refinement. Refine your shot direction. Okay, hold down the L2 button and move the, the left stick. Okay. I'd like to move it a bit more if that's alright. Oh, it's Mark's LB. Shot execution. So apply the power. Pull the right stick back to start the power bar. Then push it towards... Okay. There we go, beautiful black, early on in this uh, career mode. It's probably the last one that you'll ever see us get. <laughs> nah, I'm only joking, only joking. Well done, you potted the target ball, you can replay this stage of the tutorial or continue on the basic cue spin. Okay, so we're doing a bit of a tutorial here. Uh, I think I'll leave this out for the rest of it. You get the idea, I'll let you guys go through it. Uh, once we're in and I'll show you guys a, a, a quick match in just a second well it turned out there was only that spin tutorial which is absolutely fine uh, so yeah this is the the, the menus uh, I won't look at anything else today we'll do that in our comprehensive review on Wednesday but let's uh, get into quick match so in snooker 19 there are three types of snooker we'll probably have videos on all of them at some point uh, you can do any length of match up to 35 frames and it's got all of the uh, venues, official venues from the World Snooker 2018-19 calendar. Um, so you, you can see there's the Bangkok Convention Centre for the Six Red Tournament, uh, the Beijing Olympic Gymnasium as well, uh, the Bell Belfast Waterfront. There's so many things. Cheltenham Racecourse, you know, we don't even see that in a snooker game, in a horse racing game, but we see it in a snooker game. But uh, we are, of course, going to pick the Crucible uh, for our first uh, encounter in this game. We're going to do a best of three frames, I think. We'll, we'll try and look at this game for about 20 minutes uh, in this episode. So as you can see, there's... Uh, Four different types of uh, sort of, sort of aiming aid. We've got amateur, pro. Uh, if it moves, I think it, it should move, or maybe pros the. I, I don't know. It, it wasn't moving past pro for some reason. So we've got amateur, pro, master, and no aiming aid. Quite obvious uh, what no aiming aid means, but uh, we're going to start on pro difficulty for today, uh, and it's got all 128 uh, players in the. Uh, in the game, all professional 128 players, so you can see there's easy, uh, medium and hard if we can get a medium, there you go so Jimmy Robertson there European Masters winner of course this season, so first encounter for us I think it has to be Neil Robertson, the Australian the guy who's uh, been given Ronnie the biggest challenge really uh, over the last half of the season since the Masters, uh, they've met in uh, two finals. Uh, obviously, the the player champ players championship and the uh, tour championship recently. So yeah, let's have a little look. Let's get into it. 
I love this screen by the way. Head to head, three frame match. First player to win two frames. At the Crucible, of course. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this exhibition match at the home of Snooker, the Crucible Theatre in Sheffield. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The first frame, Neil Robertson to break. So let's see what Neil Robertson looks like on this game. Opponent is thinking, apparently. Oh, here he is. Oh, I, I think I've accidentally play, picked six red snooker. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do this, but uh, hey, oh, it'll, it'll speed up the match a little bit. So we've got our three um, phase shots. So, um, I mean, that's looking pretty good for us there. Uh, we can move the power up and down using the, the right analog stick. Uh, and we can also sort out uh, spins and stuff like that. But as you can see, as we're on the cushion, we're automatically set to uh, sort of top spin, which which is very very good. And uh, yeah, then we move to our next phase of the shot, which is uh, sort of the the cue cam, as they like to call it. Uh, you can actually get down on the oh, you <laughs> you can actually uh, get down to this this level, or you can stand up a little bit. I believe that that you can walk around as well this is uh, through holding triangle we can walk around the table which is a nice little feature we can have a look at the pack and, and stuff like that uh, oh I've messed up me me shot now but here we go He's let's uh, it. give it a go That's an oh it's a cracker <coughs> so good start one for us here. Uh, I think, oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, try a little bit of, of backspin. But here you can see the, the cone effect uh, in full force. That's a great split. He'll be unlucky if he's done anything here. So commentary in this game is by Eurosports David Hendon and Neil Folds, uh, rather than the, the BBC folk, which, you know, is, is a refreshing change and something I, I'm looking forward to, to listening to throughout the game. Let's uh, drop this one in. Oh, he's using the, the spider. A very strange looking spider there. It's sort of like the the uh, the, the half butt rest that you get in a, in a snooker club. Oh, oh, it just it did just wobble in. Good job we played it at that pace. Uh, but this game is played beautifully so far. I am absolutely loving it. Uh, should we go for a nice long blue? And just drop it in. The rest won't make this any easier. So for some reason it jumped forward uh, a little bit there. I'm pretty sure it's meant to go to the the Q cam after that, uh, after the the overhead view, but. Who knows? I, I don't know the controls yet, so I might have got that wrong. Yeah, right in the heart That's of the pocket. That's an excellent pot. What a wonderful pot. 14. <laughs> it wasn't that good, boys. Come on. Right. Let's uh, reduce that power a little bit. But uh, th this difficulty seems good for me. Uh, we will move up to master difficulty eventually. Fifteen. Uh, ooh. The green is the shot here. Plenty of top spin and, and right hand side. Yep, that looks good to me. Oh dear. Well, we missed the green by an absolute mile. Well, he's left half a chance. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 15. Under. Oh, and the thunder from down under. He's he's off to a good start here. One. I like the uh, the opponent is thinking thing. Nice black from from Neil there. Eight. You can speed up the shots using uh, R2 or uh, RT if you're on the Xbox side. Good shot, shot there. Outstanding possible. Nine. He's so, for safety again. Who will make the first mistake? 
16. He's played position onto this. It's a it's tough shot. To get the white tight on the cushion. Oh, that's always going to be difficult at that sort of speed. And, well, Neil Robertson does take the lead in this frame. But, well, uh, that's not works out quite as intended. Neil Robertson. Hopefully not for long. This is a tricky safety. Not playing safe, Neil. Oh, it's a crack at right in the heart of the pocket. And I do like the, the, the audience on this game. Uh, very, very good. Well, the game is, is very fluid and uh, it, it, it Just feels blue required. right. Just the blue required? Are you joking? Obviously, there's a couple of commentary glitches, but uh, it's not the end of the world for me. Just drop that in. Well, that's just I'm gonna hit a little bit. That should be it. No real way for his opponent to win the frame now. Well, hopefully Neil will uh, Neil will concede. He'll have the same thoughts as those. We're going to play the cut here. Uh, this is a tough man. shot. Oh, I've pressed the wrong button. This is a really tough shot, though. We'll claim that we were playing the safety. Is this going to end up behind the green? Not quite. That's okay. I don't think Neil will be potting one from here. Six. So five points in the lead. Neil's just playing the, the rest up. Well, he's got it. Great shot. Touching uh, ball. Oh, it's touching. Glad that uh, Brendan said just before I took the shot there because <laughs> that would have been a foul. Pace is absolutely critical here. Trying to get this behind the, the black if possible. That looks pretty good. Oh, just caught the black. If it had just missed the black, we would have had a bang in trouble there. Over the pace of the white with this shot. <clears throat> I do like the camera angle, so pretty good. You can see Ronnie over there. Oh, is that going to reach? Well, apparently it did. Nicely played. So, touching ball. Oh, it's touching again. Goodness me, Brendan. <laughs> right. So, I'll try and snooker him here. So, that's a, a rather handy tool. We'll, we'll see how... Uh, much pace we need. I do just want to hit it a little bit further. I want it to bounce off the cushion so that we can try and get this uh, behind the pink here. Go on. Stop. Stop. Oh. Just keeps on no, rolling. Not the result he was after. Definitely not. Hmm. Neil's played that a daft shot again. Well, if this passes the brown into the middle, we'll definitely be taking it on. He'll be aware how important oh, pace it is does. for this shot. It does. This is uh, this is half a chance here. Tough one. Nope. Nope. And there's Neil Robertson's chance then to take this opening frame. Ah. <sighs> Just drops it in. He's left himself a long green. I would have been tempted to punch it round off He's three cushions. This, into the left corner this is a tough shot now. He's got it though, but he snookered himself. What an idiot! <laughs> well, level pegging. First chance to see the AI get out of snookers, and uh, I'm glad to say that he played a pretty good shot there. We have got a, an opportunity here though. Neil Robertson. Five. This should be fairly straightforward. It's a tough shot. Oh, I didn't expect uh, the cue ball to keep running like this. <coughs> I 
left ourselves a, a tough shot into the, the yellow pocket now. He's taking this blue on. Boy, is this a tough shot. Nope. No, not quite. Pretty close, though. Need that blue that to pull up. Any solace. Need that blue to pull up. Oh, well, Any look at this. Support. Great opportunity. <sighs> As, uh, as Neil says, a good opportunity for Neil he's here. Position on the pink here. And he's okay on the pink. He should be able black. to hold this for the black. So it looks like Robbo's going to win the first the frame here. Associated with playing this with too much pace. Just about goes in, Mark yeah. Williams style. Tough black, but I fully expect him to get it. Here. No, he's not. Surely. No, he pots the black and Neil Robertson wins the first frame. On his opponent in this frame. Annoying. And the first frame, Neil Robertson. And now the frame is his. He's taken a one-frame right. lead here and seems in pretty fine form. Yes, he's looking good at the moment and will be pleased with that last frame. Thank you. The second frame, Ronnie O'Sullivan to break. It's a tough one uh, to decide what to do here because uh, I've never really broke off to six threads before. I have in real life. I've actually played in the six thread tournament before, but uh, where I played S uh, Elliot Slesser in the final actually, uh, back when uh, I was about 11, uh, he well, was 16 at the on. time. Fair to say he beat us. A nice long pot there from Neil. After I One. thought we'd pretty much nailed the break off, but uh, this is a half decent chance. Yeah, nice shot. Where's the cue ball going? No, not quite. <laughs> yeah, nice straight pot. Nice. In the heart of the pocket. I'd have to say that the. The AI are very trusted to the the nap of the cloth, <laughs> just rolling reds in, uh, and obviously rolling up to the the ball as well. <coughs> David Edmund critical of, of how Robertson played that last shot, but uh, I see what he's doing. No, he's playing it down the cushion. Good shot. Needs that to pull up. He wanted more control there. Don't think he's on it. Don't think he can pot this. Ooh, he's tried it. Nice. He was just playing the safety there. Well, I'm sure John Virgo in previous games would have uh, would, would have played otherwise. Can we? Neil Robertson, fourteen. We can't. So this is a tough safety. It really, is a tough safety here. Gonna have to play it with a bit of. Well, we hold on. I want to play it with a bit of left hand side just to help it round. Don't know where the reds are going to end up here, but uh, oops, that's not what we wanted. Um, he looks like he's trying to get the cue ball tight on the cushion here. Yeah, that, that's just too thick. We need that ball to bounce all the yellow to come to our rescue, and it hasn't. Neither has happened. So I think Neil's going to win here, which is a shame. Let's see where that ends One. up. Well, it's not the easiest shot. To play this with too much pace, or he could leave his opponent on. Has he got enough pace? Oh, just down it goes. He's queuing extremely well here. So twenty-one points ahead, forty-three available. There. Quality queuing there, really good. Eight. Yeah, so I think this is uh, going to be curtains for us. So this red, and he's the won the frame. Right here. Good shot. Oh, and the crowd like that one. And that should be it. Past the point of no return in this match. 14. So we've officially lost our first match on the game. 19. Remains to be seen whether we would have lost on a 15 red uh, game, but, you know. Tremendous shot. 21. 
Nice 24. shot there. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to see our first clearance of the series, yeah. and unfortunately it's not going to be from us. <clears throat> but yeah, we'll have a, a few more videos out over the next couple of days. Uh, we'll try the shootout mode, we'll try uh, obviously full 15 red snooker, and we'll probably give the 6 red a, nice another shot. go as well. Have a look at Let's some of the other players in the game. We'll get Jimmy White going as 46. well. But there we go, Jimmy uh, Jimmy White. <laughs> Neil Robinson with that wonderful break of 46 wins this match. By two frames to nil. But uh, there you have it. That is our first look at Snooker 19. Now, I can't show you the career mode or anything like that until Wednesday. But, you know, be sure that there will be daily content on the career mode. We're going to do a Ronnie O'Sullivan career mode. Uh, on uh, from Wednesday, there'll be two videos a day for the first week, and then daily content of snooker. But we have a few videos planned before then. I'll also have my full review out on Wednesday once I've had a while uh, playing on the game. We'll try some online as well. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that. If you have, then make sure you leave a like down below. Let me know your comments, uh, your thoughts down below in the comments of uh, what you think of Snooker 19. I think it plays beautifully. Um, you know, I certainly didn't notice any weird glitches or anything like that. A few commentary slip-ups, but that's nothing important. That's something that can be easily patched. But there you go. That is that. Subscribe to the channel for daily snooker content. And once again, thank you to uh, everyone at Lab42 and Ripstone for uh, the early access to the game. I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much to them. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.